What is up you guys? So we're here to go circle back and do a little bit of a deeper talk on the other day. We pulled the card Gavura from the Kabbalah deck and I thought that this was worth circling back and going um, into a concept that I started to go into but go into it deeper. So um, the the video that that I talked about this card in, I had on sort of a wine colored romper and a large opalite uh, pendant. It's like two videos ago. I'm next to a, an aqua paisley shirt. So go back and watch the video with the opalite, white opalite pendant. And it goes into the meaning of this card for that day and generally speaking. So, so we have some context. The tree of life is the glyph that uh, Kabbalistic study and principles and meditations are um, based on. So this is a depiction of the different dimensions of reality. These are the governing forces of the Godhead. The, this is the map of reality and the map of the human consciousness and the human soul. These are like archetypal um, truths about ourselves and pieces of our personality that's part of the superconscious. These paths in between are archetypal uh, lessons that we all face in this life as we go forward and progress the soul. These are also paths depicted by the tarot's major arcana. The 10 dimensions of reality plus the 11th here, which is DOS. This is an unmanifest state of being and a trait more so than anything. It's like the prophetic, oh, you've got it kind of, oh, you get it. Um, you have to have that for these to really come alive. So we're, we're, we're walking the paths. These 10 dimensions are what the one through 10 in each suit is dealing with. Each one of these dimensions is like a governing force of reality that has all sorts of things associated with it. Governing um, angels, uh, different levels of angels within each, um, the planets, celestial governing bodies, um, etc. So the particular card in question is Gavura. This is Gavura here. This is the left column, the column of judgment. This is the right column, the column of mercy. This is the central column, the column of our ascension of consciousness. So these are virtues when in balance, but when out of balance, they become vice. And so the opposite of Gavura here, which is judgment, over here is mercy. Mercy is that um, Hebrew idea of ju uh, justice, where there's enough to go around, where there's forgiveness, understanding, compassion. That in over amounts, over abundance, creates chaos as well. It creates a system that is abused or a person who is walked all over or a person who has a uh, soul correction where they need to not overgive and not be walked all over. Judgment, Gavura, this is um, when in a healthy state, this governing force of the Godhead is the wise uh, discernment, the um, ability to make discriminating calls and be decisive. Um, this is the, the soldier, the powerful warrior who defends and upholds the kingdom and can make decisive action, can take a swift blow of the sword. And without hesitation, right? If you take if you take a whack at someone's head on the guillotine or like on the chopping block, I guess the guillotine has its own um, hesitationless blade, right? Once you pull the with the cord on the guillotine, nobody. It's not like you're whacking an axe, right? So that's like automatic, like take the person out of it. So if you hesitate, you're gonna have to cut a couple of times, and that's gonna be like very very unpleasant. But it's like that quick that quick. Um, no hesitation, no turning back. That's like quitting um, an addiction cold turkey. That's like being able to walk away from an abusive relationship and not keep going back to it. That's like being able to finally see a pattern in yourself and move forward and not keep falling back into the old cycles and into the old lessons. That's when we know that we are having um, health problems and our diet needs to change. And we, you know, make those decisive decisions to no longer um, hurt ourselves through thoughtlessness, right? 
So again, um, the angel associated with Gavura are the cherubim. And we think of the cherubim sometimes as these like cute little baby angels, but really the cherubim are like the fire dragon. It's, I think the cherubim are like the flaming snake and the sword of God. It's like cutting out what is not working. It is intense. It is metal for sure. So what are we looking at in our lives right now in ourselves? that we are taking decisive action to cut away because I believe that once we do and all of our other messages are really tying into this recently, it's like the moment we decisively proactively choose to go after our own negativity and cut it out, then that's what opens us up for the miracle, the boon, the blessing to come in, that mercy, right? It's like when we're, um, when we're ex experiencing too much judgment, we're not experiencing mercy, right? So, and, and judgment, this is the side of receiving. So maybe you've been taking, maybe that's been out of balance. Maybe you've been um, not receiving in a way of like, by the way, like, okay, well, if you insist, but if you've been like needily grabs, grasping for something or being reactive in your taking of it and not conscious. Now, if you're not conscious in the side of sharing the mercy side, then you're over giving and that can cause damage too. So an out of balance Gavura can be overly domineering or controlling. This can result in dictatorship, um, in, you know, um, toxic controlling and violent behavior or um, domineering. Um, you know, there, there's, there, there's the dark side of that too. Um, forcefulness, tyranny. Um, so yes, there was another word that I was going to associate with the positive side of it. Oh, well, it has slipped me, but you guys tune in for more um, in-depth looks at Kabbalah secrets, ways to apply this to our lives. I wish I could remember what that was, but we are bringing that judgment and mercy into balance. Um, and then when we correct for this judgment, that's what opens up the mercy and the blessing to come in. So it's not, it's, it's, we're always trying to restrict the body consciousness to receive for the self alone or to receive instant gratification without a process of earning, right? Um, so that's what we call build the building the vessel. It's creating a desire and then following through, making effort to build affinity with the light. And then that opens us up for more and more blessing because the more we have affinity with the light, the more we're in cosmic vibration with it and we're opening ourselves up to the blessing and favor of the light of the creator. All right, you guys, ciao.